Have you ever stopped to think about the phone in your hand, or the computer on your desk? These devices, these marvels of engineering, hold more power than the giant machines that sent the first humans to the moon. That is not just a cool fact, it is a cosmic truth about our journey as a species. Technology does not just walk forward, it sprints, it leaps, it grows at a speed that can feel almost magical, almost unbelievable. What was science fiction just a few years ago is now part of our everyday lives. This incredible pace of change is a fundamental force, like gravity. Think back just a few decades. A telephone was a big clunky thing stuck to a wall with a cord. A computer filled an entire room and had less memory than a modern greeting card that plays a song. Today we hold the entire repository of human knowledge in the palm of our hands. We can talk to someone on the other side of the planet face to face in an instant. This acceleration is not slowing down, in fact it is speeding up. The universe of electronics is expanding and we are all along for the ride. The engine driving this incredible journey is human curiosity. It is our innate desire to ask what if? What if we could make things smaller? What if we could make them faster? What if we could make them smarter? These are the questions that have propelled us from chipping stones to splitting atoms, and now, to building intricate networks of silicon and electricity. Every new gadget, every breakthrough is a testament to our relentless quest to understand and shape the universe around us. Let's zoom in on the electronics we use every day. At the heart of it all is a simple idea making things smaller and more powerful. This is a trend we call miniaturization. Think of it like this. Your smartphone is a library, a movie theater, a post office, a powerful camera. This was not achieved by magic. It was achieved by countless scientists and engineers, figuring out how to shrink the tiny switches called transistors. The smaller the switches, the more you can fit onto a single chip, the more powerful your device becomes. This relentless shrinking has followed a pattern, Moore's Law, the number of transistors on a microchip doubles about every two years. That's been rocket fuel for the digital revolution. That's why your laptop is faster than the one you had five years ago. That's why games look almost real. We're packing intelligence into tinier spaces, turning massive machines into tiny titans. But what does this mean for you? The power to create, learn and connect is becoming more accessible. You don't need a giant lab to edit a film or to compose a symphony. You can do it on a tablet in a park. Power once reserved for corporations is now with billions of people. We are becoming creators. We are becoming broadcasters. All thanks to these tiny powerful engines we carry. And this trend isn't stopping. Now let's talk about something truly cosmic, artificial intelligence or AI. For a long time, computers were just very fast calculators. They did exactly what we told them to do following instructions step by step. They were powerful, but they could not think. They could not learn. That is all changing. AI is about